Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at my newest batch of TFK T17s. Now if you've been watching this product run, you probably realize that my first run was pretty much standard design. So D2 tool steel, a couple of blades in N690, generally rather plain handles with G10 standard liners overall great quality but i continue to want to up the ante so in batch number two we introduced the wayne walker custom handles these are beautiful mosaic handle scales integrating a number of different materials whether it's burl wood micarta g10 different things to give a little more pop a little more flair in that premium look but in this latest batch of knives, batch number three, we have introduced a number of new offerings for you. Number of new features, different things that you can add to customize your knife and give you that exact custom purchasing experience you're looking for. Now it's not like this is exactly a custom knife. This is a mid-tech knife. So a lot of custom features, a lot of handmade features, but also some machining. So we get a very consistent product from copy to copy, but you get to choose each and every feature you're looking for on this knife. So for example, in batch number one, the standard design required jimping and also a finger choil. But now we offer the ability to choose whether or not you have jimping, or whether or not you have a finger choil. At this point, you do have the option to purchase a full length blade with no finger choil. Now, it's not like I really needed the advice at the end of the day. I kind of had the idea in mind that I was gonna do this all along, but it definitely helped that I had somebody with a little bit of clout to push me forward in this option. This is, a, this is my finger choil. Right, yep. And, and that's a three quarters of an inch of wasted sharp. Yep. Other than that, you know, it's got, um, you know, it's, the handle's long enough, you can get some, get a pretty good hit. Other than that, I mean, uh, your jimping's good. Uh, if, I, if I would round that off a little bit. Yep, soften but, it up a touch. But if, other than that, um, that's not much of a complaint for me. I'm a... I'm a critical <laughs> son of a bitch. Right, right. right. Uh, and this does have some rough, I guess, corners um, that need to be softened. And uh, But with gloves and things like that, I definitely understand the purpose and the reasoning. But for me, I mean, if, you, if I dig into there, that's going to get my thumb pretty good. So, just wish it was a little more softer, rounded, the same goes for the choil um when i it's not bad by no means but maybe just a little bit softer edges right there now all the jimping on these knives have been nicely rounded and softened out we did get a little bit of feedback from a couple of customers and just a little bit of rounding on that jimping there to soften it out and give you a little bit more of a comfortable feel and not only with the jimping, but we've now softened that finger choil just a little bit to add increased comfort. Now these blades still offer the Wayne Walker mosaic handle scales. Absolutely beautifully done. Meticulous craftsmanship. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a good quality and classic looking piece. But now upping the ante and continuing to push the boundaries even further, we now offer Voodoo Resins high-end quality scales. These scales are ridiculously sweet. If you're not familiar with Voodoo Resins, I highly recommend checking out their work. These are going to be a regular basis. Moving forward, I will be using both the Wayne Walker Mosaic Scales and also the Voodoo Resin Scales to give you that custom look and really turn these into a high-end premium piece. Now we continue to offer both the satin finish and the acid stone wash, but the reality is we cannot offer the acid stone wash in N690. So the current blade steels on these knives, 1.2379, which is European standard D2 tool steel and 
N690CO. So Bowler N690CO. These at this point in time are the two options for steel choices. So these are good quality, durable, serviceable, high-end steels capable of performing extremely well in the outdoor application. And finally, because we changed the blade shape and now offer a full length blade, I did also have to make an additional logo. So you'll see two different Outer Limitless logos. One for the full length blade and the other for the Choil version. So little subtleties, but you always have to sweat the details. Now these blades still have the great balance that we've come to find with this T17. We continue to make sure that we have the balance absolutely perfect. So just paying attention to those details, getting the balance exactly where we need it. Both the finger choil version and the choilless version having that nice nimble feel, good quality, neutral balance in the hand. Now something else that we are introducing in batch number three, the ability to do custom laser etching. So if you would like to have some custom laser etching on your TFK T17, you can most certainly do that. So now that I've shown you all the new options, let's get into details on each one of these blades in this current batch. Now as I go through the details of each one of these blades, if there's anything you like, and you would like to reach out to me, you can reach out at outerlimitless at gmail.com or feel free to leave a comment below. I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Now, I'm not going in order. I'm basically going to cover different knives in different classes and talk about the features. So here you'll see unit number 29. Number 29, this is already spoken for. This was a custom order. The customer wanted D2 tool steel with black G10 orange liners but no jimping. So that's the first thing to point out here, the idea that now you can get this TFK T17 with no jimping. Some people like it, some people don't. That's a personal preference thing. I want you to have the user experience you're going for. So by being able to order one of these blades, extremely custom with exactly what you want, that's what I'm going for. So this customer opted for no jimping. That is now available. Unit number 48 here. So D2 tool steel black G10 liners, acid stonewash finish. And here you will see a Ranger green liner. Very subtle, but it's nice and detailed. Just a little bit of pop there, enough to give it some color, but a nice dark subdued look. But the detail here being that the customer wanted custom engraving on the side of the knife. So here you'll see nice little engraving right on the side. That is also available. If you would like custom engraving, certainly by all means, reach out and let me know. Unit number 28, this here is an N690 with a full length cutting edge. Now, don't be fooled, there is some oil on here. I have not completely cleaned these up. There's just a little bit of oil to keep them nice and clean, nice and protected. I'm not taking that oil off and basically keeping these ready for shipment. Um, but at this point, this particular unit, number 28, with the Voodoo resin handle scales in the color Ice Flower. Bright red liners, beautiful satin finish, no choil, no jimping, and a nice, soft, even spine. Beautiful fit in the hands, feels wonderful, great purchase on the knife. Perfect balance like the rest of the T17s. This knife is absolutely gorgeous. Just a really cool look. Now speaking of a cool look, unit number 31 in D2 tool steel acid stonewash finish. Sharpened spine, that jimping, a finger choil, good overall purchase in the hand. But when you take a quick look and you see these voodoo resin handle scales, absolutely wild with the toxic green liners just a really cool look these have almost a camouflage look to them when you look deep inside these patterns these voodoo scales are just ridiculously detailed they just have endless detail almost 3d looking just a wonderful quality handle material and an amazing overall look Unit number 33, again in N690. This one is the satin finish, but with a finger choil and that nice soft jimping. This handle scale, the Voodoo Resins Color Nuke. So again, a wild pattern, really cool, absolutely beautiful. 
almost translucent in spots and as you look real close just a nice black liner on the inside to set this off from the tang of the knife gorgeous looking handle absolutely spectacular finish unit number 35 again in n690 this particular knife without a sharpened spine so nice and soft no jimping no finger choil, full length cutting edge. The handles are Voodoo Resin. This is called Devil's Cut Burl. So Devil's Cut being the red on the back, just that really deep, almost blood red with some blacks, just really cool marbled look, but transitioning like flawlessly into this burl wood. Absolutely spectacular. This is really one of my favorites out of this bunch. Now here, unit number 36, Again, just stepping this up. You got a little bit of jimping here with no finger choil, no sharpened spine. Now you're starting to see how you can come up with different combinations. So on some of these full length blades, you end up with jimping. Some of them you don't. Some of them have finger choils. Some of them don't. You can really mix and match. And in this particular case, this knife here has Wayne Walker custom mosaic scales absolutely beautifully done dovetail design desert ironwood with green micarta orange g10 liners just popping off the tang a gorgeous overall look spectacular craftsmanship all the way around Unit number 30 in D2 Tool Steel. This one's set up for good quality wilderness use. You got that squared off sharpened spine finger choil, jimping, excellent purchase on this blade, but then you just have that bright orange liner all the way around this knife. This one, we stepped it off just a little bit to give it some separation, give it some pop. So you end up with the Wayne Walker Custom Scales, Desert Ironwood, Green Micarta, Orange G10, and on the inside, you have a Green Micarta Spacer. So beautifully done just changing it up a little bit. So as you go through each one of these, very custom, their own look and feel, their own specifications, but keeping in mind the fact that if you like any of these features, you can order any one of these knives exactly to your specifications. But moving on, here we have unit number 32 in D2 Tool Steel Acid Stone Wash Finish, jumping on the top, no choil on this one, a full length cutting edge. Here we have Desert Ironwood on the Wayne Walker Custom Scales with an Oatmeal Burlap Micarta. And then on the inside, a beautiful Tan Micarta liner with a very fine black G10 liner to give it a little separation and pop off the tang of the knife. And finally, unit number 34 in N690. No choil, no jimping. Satin finish, just beautifully done. This here, again, with Wayne Walker Custom Scales, you end up with a Buckeye Burlwood, just a deep red Buckeye Burlwood, wonderfully detailed. The actual detail on this handle is incredible. Then you end up with the Oatmeal Micarta Handle Scales with the bolsters on the front and the back. You end up with a tan liner on the inside in that real thin black G10 to give it some separation and pop. Now, as always, we like to offer different sheath carry systems, so we're still working on updates and continual improvements on our sheaths. Here you'll see a couple of nice, high-quality, extreme-edge, custom Kydex sheaths. These happen to be currently outfitted with tech locks. So, tech locks and molly locks are standard with this carry system. However, we are continuing to work and improve on our dangler system. So there are some updates to this. This is one of, call it the version one. We do have a version two that kind of quiets it up a bit. This one had just a little bit of rattle to it. We wanted to improve. So there is a version two, but these sheaths can be outfitted, not just with the tech lock, molly lock adapters, but also with a dangle carry system. And we also offer the TFK leather dangler pouches in black, but now also in brown. Now I also want to point out that we are still offering knives with a squared off handle or the palm swell. All the ones I showed you in this current batch have the palm swell, but we do also offer on custom orders the ability to square off the handle. 
So if you're somebody that likes a slightly more square fit in the hand, this would definitely be a good option for you. Now I can tell you, even though this is a little bit squared off, it is nicely rounded and contoured where it counts, comfortable in the hand, feels great, just gives you a little bit more meat in some of the areas if that's what you're going for. But again, it does not necessarily have that palm swell, so a slightly different fit in the hand feels excellent, both really great options. So again, I want to reiterate the fact that any one of these combinations can be achieved and even more. If you check out Voodoo Resins at VoodooResin.com or also on Instagram or Facebook, you can definitely take a look at the different patterns. If there's anything you like or anything you see, certainly shoot me an email, OuterLimitless at gmail.com. If you want to get an order moving, you can order them directly through me or TanaFamilyKnives.com, TFKKnives.com. We're continuing to try to up the ante on all these knives, increase the overall number of features so that you can custom tailor your order, have the overall best quality purchasing experience and buyer's experience, but even more so, the user's experience you're really trying to go for. Now, I'd like to also point out that I will be stocking the TFK T7 and TFK Pico in the United States for faster shipping to United States customers. So I will have these on hand generally. Here you'll see two offerings in N690, so the T7 and also the Pico in N690. These are available with leather sheaths or Kydex carry options. You can get these in D2 tool steel with the acid stone wash finish and in the near future I also expect to see these with the upgraded handle scales. So a number of different options to depending on your price point and what you're trying to get into on all of these TFK blades. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.